The United Nations turned 75 at a time of unprecedented challenges when an increasingly fragmented world is facing off against the coronavirus pandemic, when social distancing is keeping world leaders from traveling here to converge at the General Assembly as they have for decades. So how does the UN make sure nations standing apart are not standing alone? I'm mostly going online. Since the pandemic struck, UN headquarters have largely closed its doors. Diplomats have been meeting in a virtual format. UN staff have mostly worked remotely and press briefings have come with capacity limits. The annual UN General Assembly high-level debates won't be much different. 75th session will start through a hybrid mode, both virtually and also in person. To kick off the UN General Assembly's 75th session, Tijani Mohamed Band hands over the mantle of President of the General Assembly to Turkish diplomat Volkan Bosker, who will preside over next week's high-level debates. But unlike decades past, world leaders and ministers will not deliver their speeches in person. Merci beaucoup, Madame la Présidente. Instead, they will submit pre-recorded video speeches that will be introduced here by their New York representatives except U.S. President Donald Trump, who may make an in-person appearance. The future does not belong to globalists. There also won't be the usual high-level lunches and sideline meetings between heads of state or on-site summits. And expectations about what the virtual format can deliver are mixed. I think this General Assembly is going to be remembered as a weird occasion, the first ever virtual General Assembly. I don't think anyone expects it to deliver very much. Obviously, it won't have that circus atmosphere that all of us kind of thrive on, but hopefully, maybe by making it a little bit simpler and reduced, they might be able to focus on some core concerns and get some real progress done. Also going virtual, high-level summits on climate change and biodiversity, and a session marking the 25th anniversary of the landmark 1995 Beijing Women's Conference. But the big event will be the UN 75th anniversary commemoration on Monday. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres wants a recommitment to multilateralism to combat the world's most pressing challenges. We just had the COVID-19. It is a virus, a microscopic thing. And it has put us on our knees. Why? Because the world was not able to come together to fight it, because there were divisions. And um, this is my biggest frustration, that uh, unfortunately the world is too much divided when we would need more than ever unity and solidarity. Solidarity to tackle COVID's impact on health and poverty, climate change and global terrorism. What the UN chief sees as the world's biggest challenges today. The key message that the UN hopes to communicate in these times of great division is that all these challenges that defy borders can only be solved through international cooperation. And that in itself is the best defense for multilateralism. I'm Li Ling Tan for CGTN at the United Nations.